Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy, aka Riot Brightmoon, the lead producer for gameplay on League of Legends. I'm thrilled to welcome each and every one of you to the start of season 2020. With the celebration of League's 10 year anniversary now a few months behind us, it's time to talk about the current state of the game and where we're going next. We have big plans for 2020, the start of our second decade of League. So let's get into it. This year's seasonal update, Rise of the Elements, has been live for a little over a month now and has brought all new game states with elemental rifts. Our goal for Rise of the Elements was to make Summoner's Rift feel more alive and give more unique environments to play around. Every game of SR should be memorable, and now there's more opportunities to see something really special in each game. We've been making balance changes over the past month and tweaking the power of the Dragon Souls. We think we've landed in a place where there's multiple strategies to winning, but we're keeping a close eye on the power of every objective. Today marks the start of the 2020 rank season. While we've made some adjustments to ranked over the course of 2019, we wanted to keep things stable for season start. So the beginning of your 2020 climb should look familiar. You'll start in placements with a provisional rank that goes up with wins, but doesn't go down with losses. And over the year, you'll progress through three seasonal splits, each granting rewards as you go. You can check your progress on those rewards in the Rank tab. Though we aren't introducing any major changes to the Rank system for season start, we've been listening to and absorbing your feedback around Ranked and matchmaking. This year, we're going to be making a significant investment in making a more competitive, transparent, and rewarding system for Ranked. While big changes won't launch until next season, we still want to bring improvements to you throughout this year. First up is a feature you've been asking for, autofill parity. We want to reduce the number of games where one team has multiple autofills and the other doesn't. We'll be sharing an update on this feature later this month. We expect to release it soon. And when we do, we'll have an update on the next feature the team will be working on to make your ranked climb better. Please keep giving us your feedback on what you'd like to see and where we can improve. In addition to improving Ranked, we're also focusing on some of the other parts of the game that you interact with most. One thing that can get in the way of a great League experience is when the client doesn't do what it's supposed to. The team spent most of 2019 digging into the causes of poor performance and client issues. And we're looking forward to rolling out improvements across the client throughout this year. Our first targets are champion select, client load times, and the overall performance and speed of the client. We recently upgraded the engine that the client runs on, and we've seen that make a meaningful impact for some players, but we still have a lot more coming. Last year, you told us that you wanted unique ways to play for every major event. We agree, and this year we're committed to providing exciting, temporary game modes alongside every major event, starting with AR Earth during Mecha Kingdoms. We'll also be adapting the new elemental rift changes to AR Earth, including Dragon Souls and the changing map. In addition, we'll be bringing back some other mode favorites, like One for All, which will be making a return in the first half of the year. And now we've finally made it to a moment many of you and all of us on the League team have been waiting for, the release of Clash. If this is the first time you're hearing about Clash, well, first of all, where have you been for the past few years? But Clash is a 5v5 tournament where players of all skill levels can team up and compete for triumph, glory, and of course, rewards. We've been working on Clash for a long time, and with your help, we ran many regional tests and a global beta in 2019. While we ran into some minor issues with the global beta, we're confident we can fix them quickly and have Clash ready to launch. So it's official. Get your crew together for the start of the first season of Clash, which kicks off early this year. That's all we have for today. Check back throughout the week where we'll be detailing our plans for the season beyond Summoner's Rift. Now let's go play some Ranked.